Hi guys and girls, it's Mrs. T. Um, this is going to be a really quick video on how to do percent composition. Please make sure um, that you have your aim sheet because we're going to be looking over aim number four. You should also have your reference tables because we'll need the periodic table and the table T. You should have a calculator available and something to write with. Uh, so for those of you who don't know me, this is Mrs. T. I'm Mrs. Tominello. I'm a chemistry teacher at Calhoun High School in Merrick and this one's going to be a super quick video on percent composition. So Sometimes you'll see a question where it says to find the percent by mass or find the percent composition and it'll either give you a formula or a name. On table T, there is a formula called percent composition, if you can see that, okay, and it says that percent composition by mass, oops, oops oh my goodness, I didn't make myself a pen, hold on, and it says that percent composition by mass equals mass of the part over mass of the whole times 100. So this is the formula you're always going to use and it's pretty much just like any other percent where it's part over whole times 100. This is just the regular percent formula that you use in math and in any other time you want to find percent. So our first step, if we want to find the percent composition for a compound, in our class what we've always done is we found the gram formula masses rounded to the nearest tenth. Okay, so I'm circling that on the table here. That would make carbon 12.0, hydrogen 1.0, and oxygen 16.0. We're going to need to find of the compound before we can do its percent composition and we're going to do that by taking the masses from the table and multiplying by the subscripts. So C times 6 is going to give us 12.0 times 6 which is 72.0. Uh, H times 12 is going to be 1.0 times 12 which is 12.0 and O times 6 is going to be 16.0 times 6, which is going to give us 96.0. Once we have these numbers, we add them up on the calculator, and we have our gram formula mass or our molar mass. When we want to go ahead and do the percents, we're going to use each of these numbers as the part for each of the individual. Okay, so I was just interrupted there for a little bit, but what we were about to do was the percent. And once we're going to do, we're going to use these numbers here because these are the masses of the parts of each of those elements. So if I want the percent of carbon in glucose, which is C6H12O6, my percent is going to be 72.0 over 180.0 times 100. And that's going to give me my percent by mass of carbon in this compound. So I'm going to do 72 divided by 180 on my calculator and multiply by 100 and that means that my percent of carbon is 40 percent. If I want to do my percent of hydrogen I'm going to do the 12.0 oh, multiply out by 100 when I do that on my calculator I get that my percent of hydrogen equals 6.67% and if I want to do my percent of oxygen I do the number 96.0 over 180.0 times 100 because that was the part of my oxygen. And I get that my my percent of oxygen equals 53.3 percent and if I if you notice 40 plus 6.67 plus 53.3 equals 100 percent and those would be my mass percents of carbon hydrogen and oxygen in this compound in C6H12O6. If I want to do one more example for CO2 the mass percent or percent compositions of the elements in CO2 my first step Oops. My first step is to do C times 1 and O times 2. Again, in our class, we rounded these to the nearest tenth. 
So we're going to do 12.0 plus 32.0. And we're going to get the gram formula mass, which is 44.0 grams equals one mole. If I want to do my percent of carbon, I take the mass of carbon in the compound, which was the 12.0, over the total mass of the compound, which was the 44, and we multiply by 100. And so this compound is 27.3% carbon. If I want my percent of oxygen, I take the number that was the mass of the oxygen, my 32.0, I put it over my total mass, which was the 44 point, and I multiply by 100. My total mass, come, uh, my total percent, I should say, comes out to 72.7%, which makes sense because 27.3% uh, carbon plus 72.7% oxygen gives us a total of 100%. Again, the formula percent equals part over whole times 100 is on table T. And if you have any other questions about percent composition or other chemistry topics, you can come to Extra Help After School or ask me in class.